time was around 9.30 p.m. And this news I'm telling you about like two days ago. So I got an urgent message in WhatsApp from the Elucid Data team. So Elucid Data is a bioinformatics company based out of Bangalore. And they, have, they had an urgent opening for the post of director. And they reached out saying that we are looking for someone who can apply immediately because this is an urgent vacancy. The director of bioinformatics at Elucidata. When I looked at the eligibility, it was very high. Obviously, they were looking for someone who has 10 plus years of experience after their PhD for this particular position. Now, why I'm telling you all of this, there is a reason. The reason is, as an early career researcher, we all suffer from VOD. Okay. Now, VOD is valley of disappointment now this has happened to me this must be happening to you when we are a 22 year old we want to win the world but we don't know how to approach and that is where when we are not succeeding we start jumping to conclusion thinking that we will never succeed now that vod phenomena happens to everybody because we all are humans this is something which is very natural very normal so don't worry but now what happened uh in this particular job is within three days i can see around 43 people have applied right now you can see only 43 like if it's a regular fresher job you will find like 5000 people applying or internship 10000 people applying but when it is a high volume high you know class job only 43 people why is that the answer to this question lies in the details the devil is in the details now the first Entry barrier to become a director in Elucidata, which is the bioinformatics director, is you need to have a PhD. Okay. After that, you need to have 10, 12, 15 years of experience. Okay. Now, these are barriers to entry. That is why only 43 people could apply. And out of this also, only four will be eligible and maybe one will get selected. So, you can see, the more you spend time in the industry, the stronger your CV gets to. And that is how you will achieve greater grander success in the future but right now you are in the v value of disappointment that is vod so while you are in a vod my suggestion to you is follow the tips and techniques which i'm going to share in this video to grow faster in your career and achieve this kind of uh, job positions as early as possible right of course we all want to earn a lot of money and we want to reach the topmost level in the industry both is possible if you follow the mantras which i'm going to share in today's video let's get started all right so now let's look at the first point which i want to share with you if i say that if you had invested in real estate in bangalore when i came to bangalore Today, you would have been a millionaire, right? You'd be like, oh, is it? Yes. Because that time real estate was emerging. Today, if you invest, it's of no use. That time it was. Okay. So that time, if somebody invested 10,000 rupees, now it is 10 crores. That's the fast. That's how fast it grew. But today is not going, right? In the same way, if you had invested in the shares of Infosys in 1991, when Infosys was just getting started and you had waited for 20, 20 25 years, today you would have been a billionaire, right? Exactly. Same thing I want to tell you. When a technology is new and nascent, the chances of its growth is very high. right? So if you jump into that technology and learn it, imbibe it, then only you can grow faster. So develop expertise in emerging technologies. Now, what are those emerging technologies? I have shared 100 times on our YouTube channel. You can please see other videos of Biotechnica, which I have shared there. It will be there are anyways on social media also, you keep sharing there also, you can follow. Now, so that is the first thing. Develop expertise in emerging technologies, right? Now, the second point. You see, I realized recently I was interacting with a lot of people. Um, they're all C-level, like CEOs and great leaders. But many of them were not as good as me in speaking. Now, speaking is a soft skill. It's not a hard skill. It's not a technical skill. It's a soft skill, right? Now, I could really command that room full of industry leaders because I had great speaking skills, right? Soft skill, interdisciplinary skills. So interpersonality skills, these are skills which are not taught in schools and colleges. These are human behavior. But if you learn soft skills, if you develop your soft skills, nobody can defeat you. So on one hand, you have to invest in emerging technologies, learn emerging technologies such as CRISPR, uh, NGS and 
all these latest uh, technologies. And at the same time, you have to also invest in soft skills, communication skills, interpersonal skills, your behavioral skills, all this matters a lot. Because if you are not able to command the room, then the room is going to command you. When you enter the interviews chamber, it's like a pressure cooker. There will be five to seven people who will be throwing questions and you at you and you will be like a wicket keeper. But if you are able to command the room and answer everybody in a satisfactory way, your job is pakka. And that's something which I wanted to highlight. See, elucidator director you can become, but if you don't have the uh, personal skills, interpersonal skills and soft skills, you cannot command the industry, right? And any company will not hire you unless you be, you can you have the potential to become an industry leader. And that is where. You see, Kiran Majumdar Shaw is Dr. Kiran Majumdar Shaw because not of the achievements, because of her soft skills. She can command the industry. She can even command the government at times. Right? That's her influence. Right? She was she is one of the strongest pillars of biotech industry. The reason is her soft skills. Right? So soft skills is a is a must for you. You must learn that. Now coming to the third one, which will be a shortcut to success, is pursue interdisciplinary fields. Okay. If if I am a bio, you know botany candidate, I have to apply computers into botany. Right. If I am a zoology candidate, I have to apply computational biology. If I am a pharmacy uh, guy, I have to apply the bioinformatics skills, cheminformatics skills. So, you know, everywhere, wherever you will go, you will need this interdisciplinary approach. I know a person, she is a, a biotech, B-tech biotech. And then she went ahead to do PhD in physics. I was like, what, what's the need? She was like, you don't know. If I have the understanding of biology and if I know I'm doing a, a PhD in physics, I can apply the physics principle in the biology and achieve something new. Science is all about achieving something new, right? And that's where interdisciplinary fields are very important. They grow very fast. Bioinformatics is the interdisciplinary field. It grows very fast, right? So yeah, that is where your future lies. That is where you can invest and grow faster. Now, let me give you the next tip. The next tip for you is as an early career researcher, when you are like a 22 year old or 24 year old, you are a fresher, you want to jump into the biggest company in the biotech sector or pharma sector. That way you cannot grow. Start with a small company, maybe in a small city. Like if you are in Bangalore, look for some companies in Mysore which can give you a break. Look for some smaller company which can give you the break, right? Once you've got the break, you have got, gained the on-the-job experience. You have gained all the experience of teamwork, soft skills, uh, leadership skills, everything. Then you, if you apply for the bigger companies, they'll take you. You see, there is a problem with the bigger companies. They don't want to waste time on spending uh, and training people, right? So they just, you know, take people who have, who already have experience. How do you gain experiences by getting into smaller companies? Smaller companies hire freshers faster. Okay, so that's one tip I can give you. The next one is again very important to get into a smaller company. Also, you need networking. Network strategically. You don't need to network with everybody, right? You have to network with some specific people in the industry who can take notice, right? Uh, like in my, one of my videos, I gave you example of Ananya or um, Ruby Buller. So how I know them, they are just in my network, but they interact with me on a daily basis. Not just that they're, they're demanding jobs from me. They're just interacting, sharing content, sharing some ideas, which I am liking, I am appreciating, they are appreciating my work. And that's how I remember them. Right. So once you have that kind of strategic networking, the day you need help, you will get the help. So network strategically, build a strong professional network. Remember, your network is your net worth. Okay? The more the number of people you remember, you know, and they remember and know you, that is how you can pull off. Imagine if I, if I know the Prime Minister of India, I can pull off anything. right? So that is where you need to know the power. The power lies in your network. So start investing in networking. When you will do networking, that time also you will be in valley of disappointment. But don't worry. Keep networking. That's something which is very, very important. The next one is pursue entrepreneurial and intrapreneurial opportunities. Okay. Now, entrepreneur is a person who just goes uncharted territory and starts a company. Intrapreneur is like you work in a company, but on uncharted territories, right? Both are equally good. Both are equally great opportunities. Now, you see, biotech industry is ripe with such opportunities. Okay. Ripe with opportunity where you, uh, you know, I know a person, she 
got into a big company. So of course she did a PhD, then she got into a big company and she worked as a head of the department. And then she got some ideas from there. She started her own company. Now that company is doing better than the pre previous company where she worked, right? So how it happened? She got some ideas, she applied, right? So pursue entrepreneurial opportunities whenever it is possible. Don't think that it is not possible. It is possible at any stage of your career. Okay, now intrapreneurial. It's not necessary that you have to start a company. You can work inside a company on something which is a new project never been done, right? So for example, when we started with making videos at this speed and scale, we didn't know how to do it. But many people in our team came forward. They worked as an intrapreneur and they made sure that we are able to do this, right? And today we are able to do this, right? So intrapreneurial opportunities you have to pursue. The next one. The next one is work in a related field. It's not necessary to work in a core biotech company where biopharma is being pursued. You can work in an allied field also, like science journalism, like um, forensics, like food industry, food technology. Now, these are allied fields, but they also are a part of biotech industry. It's not that they're not clinical research, right? So you can always be become a part of those industries. Also, those branches of biotech industry. So, you know, it's not necessary that you focus on one company and th there only you should get the job. No, you have to open your horizon. Wherever your passion lies, your profession lies. That's how you have to look at it. But if you're you're not getting a profession which is your passion, wait for the right opportunities. In the meanwhile, look for something which can, you know, really help you like science journalism, like forensic science or, uh, you know, regulatory affairs. These are always there, right? So that's that's one way of looking at it. Now, one last point which I want to share before I end this video is there will be opportunities where you can go international. Okay. Never ever hesitate doing that. Okay. International collaborations are valued in any lab, any company, any industry. Okay. So even if, if I say, okay, uh, you have got an international opportunity in ICRI SAT, do it. Now that time you start thinking who will pay for my flight? Who will pay for my uh, accommodation? Who will pay? Okay. You have to figure out. Correct. But if you are able to figure out, you will be the champion of the future. Ten years later, when there will be an opening in Illusive Data or any such companies of the future in bioinformatics or forensic science or food technology, anything. And if you are eligible, you will be able to take it. Right. But today, if you don't take the initiative, it's not going to work. So when you are in a VOD, which all the 22 year olds, 25 year olds are generally, which is value of disappointment, we start feeling that it's not going to work out. No matter how much ever I'm trying, it's not going to work out. But your talent cannot be crushed. It is malleable and ductile. It will take shapes and forms which you can even not imagine today, right? I never imagined in my uh, bachelor's that I'll become this, but I'm thankful for whatever I did then. Same thing here. Your talent will just take shapes and forms. Layer by layer, it will grow. So you have to pursue any and every opportunity which comes your way, but be selective. Do less, but qualities should be more, right? It's not that you have to publish hundreds of papers. It's not that you have to go and uh, pursue a career in every field of bioscience. Pay attention to one particular profession, which is your passion. And if you're not getting a profession, which is your passion, take a side uh, profession like, like science and journalism or something which stays you while you're looking for the main opportunity. So these are the pointers which I wanted to share for all those youngsters who want to grow fast in the biotech industry, I want to remind you that I also had that fire within me to grow fast in uh, the biotech industry. And today also I carry that fire and that's how biotech thing grows because I don't sit, I don't settle. I just keep moving forward with rocket speed. And that's my message to you. Keep moving at rocket speed because you are unstoppable. All the best.